Last Sunday, on the 2nd July 2023, the Catholic Diocese of Kabale ordained four priests. Among the new priests was the 35-year-old Dr. Davis Aimbisiwe, who stood before the Archbishop of Mbarara, Rambat Beino Mugisha, to profess his commitment to a life of celibacy and obedience to the Catholic Church. Born in a family of five siblings, Dr. Himbiswe is now also the only one boy in the family after his older brother died at the age of eight. To this day, his family are still struggling to comprehend how he opted out of his life as a medical doctor and joined priesthood. We say, wow, we have got a doctor. And we, we, we have a lot of expectation. He said, ah! He just called me and told me, hello, Martha. Could you please take me to the airport? And I'm like, to the airport to do what? It's like, uh, I am going to pursue my priestly vocation. I'm like, huh? But Father Dr. Davis Ahimbiswe shares why he thinks that spiritual healing supersedes conventional medicine. We are not just bodies moving around. As a doctor, there is a limit where I can help. Physical health can go to a certain limit. But spiritual health really is health that gives life for eternity, world without end. So in the order of hierarchy, you know, spiritual health is first and then physical health is second. Born to K. Thruamahe and Frugencio Ayebaziwe, the younger Haimbisiwe was sent to St. Paul's Seminary Shoroja in Kabare Diocese by his parents. That's when David told me that he was going to be in Westwood. I just said, oh my God, what is this? Is this? I remember when we were young, David used to be in a, in a seminary and we always tell my mom, we'll be like, oh, he's going to become a priest. And he'll be like, no, 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 I'm not going to become a priest. He excelled in sciences, which easily drew him to the dream of becoming a medical doctor, a journey that took him to the Uganda Matters Secondary School Namugongo for his A-levels. From here, he joined Makerere University. After graduating as a doctor, Dr. Himbiswe carried out his internship at Kabare Regional Hospital before settling in at Our Lady of Good Health Rushoroja Hospital for two years. But even before, this father, Dr. Haimbisiwe, had already made his mind up that he belonged back to the seminary. I was in my second year, mm. second year really of, uh, of university. Mm. I remember when I joined the Charismatic, that was, like, I experienced my Christian life in a new way. Quite unexpectedly, Dr. Imbiswe's decision to return to the seminary upset his family, who had hoped that he would carry on the family's lineage. One day I told him, Dr. Davis, my younger doctor, before you marry, go back to school for masters. He specialized. He left. At first it was heartbreaking. For our one brother because uh, yes he's the only brother in the family so you're like you're going to become a priest and i'm like have you told mom have you told dad and he's like yes they know i'm like really i said my god this is your boy not my boy so you gave him to me so it is good to go and serve it wasn't an easy decision for me you know because i was in the seminary before and I left to pursue uh, medicine. Mm -hmm. Definitely that factored in. Dr. Imbisiwe traveled to the United States of America to pursue a Bachelor's of Philosophy and Master's of Divinity at Notre Dame Seminary, a growing six years journey. He returned to Uganda to be ordained a priest last Sunday. The two, the, the two professions do, do, do really do not connect and they are really very hectic. So it's a very determined man, I should say. But when he came here, in all worlds, he started from OPD. He put a divine mercy picture in OPD. Then in all rooms, consultation rooms, he put the cross. He went to maternity, he gave us a horror family picture in the postnatal world where we put mothers after delivery. Then in all rooms, for a theater, surgical department, at least there is no room that doesn't have his cross, the crucifix in the room. Except the new buildings. This, the, the faith I have now, it grew more 
by the in the time when he was here very good fearing whatever he tries to do in life he's like does it really please god and there i learned that if god wants something you can't stop him despite the mixed feelings from many father dr david saimbisiwe is firm in the choice he took as he has placed his trust in god uh, that's why i call it a risk because it is accepting to trust in God, who is more real than even the things that we see. <laughs> Father Dr. Davis Ayimbisiwe will later this week return to the United States of America, where he has been posted to serve at St. Francis de Sales Cathedral in Louisiana. Father, <laughs> Father, Oh, can't